Our postseason push continues on this line vision update as we talk with UNA golf coach Jason Vaughn as his team gets set to enter the NCAA Regional this weekend. But first, coach, we need to back up just a little bit. Three players earned all Goal South Conference honors led by Forrest Knight. We'll start with Forrest, a first-team selection. The third straight year, he's been a first-team selection heading into his senior year, his final couple tournaments coming up. And the couple strong finishes, he has a chance to submit himself as one of the all-time greats at North Alabama. And I agree with everything that you said there, Ben. He has been a very consistent golfer for us for the past four years. Um, like he's been a four-year uh, golfer here at UNA and uh, two-time All-American, uh, finished great at the, uh, the conference tournament. Um, and I believe coming up here at the regional tournament, uh, I have a feeling that he's going to uh, play very well um, just because he plays great at, at – Fighting Joe and has a, a it's been working really hard on his swing and you know the thing about it is is he's just a consistent golfer and has been that way for you know four years puts the ball uh, great and um, hits the ball solid uh, just an all around really good golfer and yes he could go down as you know in the top five of uh, the best golfers that we've had here at UNA. Two other seniors received honors as well, Patrick Twesme and Austin Sparks, both second team all-conference selections. And for Austin, Coach, he's really been consistent throughout his time as well. Very consistent. Um, Austin, we've had him for um, three years, and he has been a very consistent golfer. Um, conference honors, um, all, academic All-American, um, you know, has a chance to, to get the All-American award this year also. Um, very consistent, um, putts the ball great, um, very good ball striker as well, and probably um, one of the most, um, I guess we would call it analytical golfers, and that's a good thing. He, he picks apart, I guess strategically, he plays the golf course correctly, and that's one thing that I like about Austin is that he takes his time on all of his shots and makes sure that he hits the right clubs in the right spots. And it's hard to find that somebody that, is, that does that on every hole. And for Patrick Twesme, another senior, we've talked about him a lot this season. Just a great honor for him to take home in his final year. Patrick has um, does great in the classroom. Uh, is part of the the SAC committee, so he's all around uh, great for UNA. Um, a great golfer as well. Um, has played well all year. Very consistent. Um, played our number two um, spot just about the whole year um, and has has really lamented himself as a, um, a really good golfer and has come through this year, um, worked, worked very hard last year to get ready for this year, and it's paid off for him. A couple other players, Coach. Let's jump in and talk about Eli Hodges, a, a freshman. He's made the, the five for, for weekend golf several times this year. I know you mentioned to me he's been very consistent on par threes and par fours, but a true freshman, what has he brought to the team so far? He has brought a, um, a strong number five. At number four and five, he kind of went back and forth um, playing that spot. But being a freshman, with everything that comes with, with being a freshman, with the change from high school to college, I think he's handled it very well. And to, to get in the top five and, and stay there for a while, it's, it's great to see a freshman do that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Eli has in store um, down the road next year. You know, how much better can he get? And, and what can he improve upon and how good can he be? So I think he's going to be a good one. The moment we've all been waiting for, we've been talking about this for what seems like a year now, the NCAA South Region Tournament happening at RTJ of the Shoals. You guys are playing the Fighting Joe course. And I know for us, it's good to catch you. You're getting a little breather in between setting up the tournament. But for us, what kind of advantage is it for us heading into this 10 of the top teams in the nation playing on our home course? I think it is an advantage to the to the fact that we know the golf course well. We know um, where to hit it, where not to hit it, um, and then also if the wind were to get up or and it were to blow hard, you know, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we've played the course in that type of wind often, you know, during the winter, during the fall, and so that's one thing uh, I think can, that can help us. 
Um, and then also knowing the, the greens well, knowing the contours. And so if they were to tuck a pin in a certain position, then um, we'll know how to get to that position. So, you know, it just is uh, being at home, there's always a little bit of pressure that you're at home playing in front of your crowd. But I think if we can get people out there to cheer us on, I think it could actually motivate us to uh, to bring home the win and to advance to the national tournament in Orlando. And let's talk about that, the pressure for just a moment of playing on, on your home course. What kind of mindset does your team need to have heading in, knowing that, hey, this is our home course, but we can't relax. Some of the top teams in the nation are coming here. And I agree with that. Um, you have to stay on guard because this is the toughest region um, and the toughest one to get out of to get to the national tournament. So um, there is the pressure from that. There's a, a little bit of pressure from, you know, the home crowd watching you. You want to do well in front of them. So we've just got to take that and use it for good, you know, use it as a motivator and um, – you know, use it as performing and because we don't get to be at home a lot. We travel and then we have our few home tournaments. So it's something great to be able to have your regionals at home. I think it's an advantage. So I think it's going to be a, a good thing. So we've just got to use it for the right, um, you know, the right attitude out there. The University of North Alabama is hosting the NCAA South Region Golf Tournament out at RTJ of the Shoals. If you want to get out and support UNA Golf, go out there. Go volunteer and work if you want to as well. Be sure to visit RoarLions.com to keep up with UNA Golf.